So I'm going to be starting with two pieces of wood. One measures 10 and a half by 5 and a half and one's 23 and a half by 10. And using some Higgins Lake from Wise Owl Paint, I am going to give them both two coats of the Higgins Lake. Once I applied the two coats and everything was dry, I took a 220 grit sandpaper and just gave a light sanding. Now I'm just going to show you how we like to paint our silver plated items using some linen white chalked spray paint. We just set it inside this box we make and give it a nice spray. These look nice when you spray paint them rather than brush the paint on. Now this is not the set I'm going to be using in my craft, but I did the same thing to the silver plated set that we will be using. And then we just gave it a nice sanding. Now I took my silver plated sugar bowl and I gave it a coat of the varnish and I did the same thing to my silver plated teapot. Now before we varnished, we painted this silver plated set as well and then let it dry. Then I also took the Wise Owl varnish and this is the matte and I put a couple coats on the wood as well. Now this is going to be an outdoor craft so you want to make sure you put at least three coats of the varnish on everything. I had these 90 degree brackets that I got. You can get these at the hardware store or Walmart and my drill gun and I'm going to lay the brackets on the bottom of the piece of wood and mark my holes so I know where everything is going to be drilled. And I'm going to pre-drill holes on both pieces of wood where I had marked. Then I have some small screws that I'm going to drill in to the bottom brackets. Now once the bottom part of the bracket was secured to the board, I then took my 10.5 by 5.5 piece of wood, flipped it upside down, and secured the other part of the brackets to the bottom piece of the wood. Now to be sure the wood was on there nice and tightly, I flipped it over and on the back side of the larger piece of wood, I pre-drilled three holes and then I took a small screw and screwed them into the pre-drilled holes. And now this is gonna go into the small piece of wood. And then while it was flipped over, I gave it a coat of Higgins Lake. Now I set those aside to dry and I went back to my silver plated teapot and used some E6000 to glue the lid open. I used a metal drill and at the bottom of my silver plated teapot, I drilled a hole. Then I drilled a hole in the wood and using a small bolt, I put it through the inside of the teapot and secured it with a nut right to the wood. You can use a screwdriver and hold the nut to secure it nice and tightly. I then went back to the E6000 and for the sugar bowl, I just glued it to my small piece of wood and let it sit overnight. I had found these bird stencils and I taped them to the board, covering the wings with tape and using some black wise owl paint and a foam dabber, I just dabbed over the bird. I had a small one on top and then I did the same thing to the big one on the bottom. You want to make sure that you cover the wings for this part and with a very little bit of paint on your dabber, you're just going to dab over the stencil. This will help prevent bleeding. Once that part was dry, I then took the stencil and laid it back on top and covered everything but the wings with some blue painter's tape. And I took some antique villa paint and just went over the wings. And I did this to both stencils. And just remember, a very small amount of paint is key with the stencils. And then... Again, when that was dry, I just laid the stencil back down under each bird and I dabbed on the branches. And using a small art brush, I just 
connected any parts of the branch that I missed. And you can add the leaves wherever you'd like. And then I took my small art brush and I just filled in the lines that came from the stencil. And I did the same thing on the top bird. I added a branch using the foam dabber and some black wise owl paint. And I placed the leaves on that branch as well. When that was dry, I took the varnish again and gave it a couple coats. And there you go. Now you have this bird feeder that you can place outside. And we just put some bird seeds in the bottom sugar bowl there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube channel or on our webpage. Have a great day.